everyone, welcome to the next um, video in this sort of mushroom series. We have um, a rather large but fairly plain looking mushroom to do today. Now I'm trying to have a little think about what to do. I was thinking gold or bronze, but obviously the one up here is sort of orangey colour. I thought maybe if we do it slightly more brownie gold it might be quite fun just to play around and see what we can achieve. So I am going to start with a really dark brown. Um, I think the Mars black might be a good option if I can find it. There it is. There's so many that look so similar. Mars black. Now I'm just talking about this very top piece. Um, the rest of it I haven't thought about at all. So I'm going to make it really dark in the corners. You can see it's almost black because it, well, it's called Mars Black. But as we spread it out like that, you can hopefully see it's a little bit brown. And then the same here. Just gently reduce that colour so it blends into our next one. Now I need a really dark brown. Um... I'm going to go for the permanent brown, I think. <clears throat> Here we go. And I'm going to go over what I've done already. And then just gently take the colour across, just like before. You can go a little bit further. I just didn't want to have too much for that really dark colour. There we go. Now if you find it hard to um, change the amount of colour, you know, from hard to light, so you can keep practising on a little piece of spare paper, scrap paper. Um, just have a little practice. Now I'm looking at my lighter browns and I don't really have many. I think we're going to have to turn to a, um, a cinnamon maybe not really no um the yellow ochre goes a bit too light so i'm thinking i might have to go for the sepia next and it's going to turn it slightly orangey but we can't really go straight from that darker brown to an ochre it's too big a jump it makes too difficult for blending so here's our sepia hopefully it won't look too much like the one above because it's going to turn slightly orangey It will take our sort of purpley looking brown to an orangey looking one. I think it'll be okay. So here I'm layering over. You can see that I'm going back and forth over the same bit. Whereas here I'm not. And here I'm just reducing my pressure on the page. So I'm only applying a tiny bit of colour. That's the hardest bit I think for many people. Um, where am I going now? I think terracotta light is quite orangey. I think I'm going to go down to the yellow ochre. I need to sharpen it. It is quite a jump, but I hope it's going to work. <clears throat> Excuse me, yellow ochre. I've got a bit of a frog in my throat. And also it's a bit sore. I've been talking too much today. Never mind. Occupational hazard. <laughs> Although some days I don't record and then I don't talk, but those days <laughs> I'm talking. I can't imagine what I would do if I couldn't talk. I just mean in life generally. I'm a talker. Just trying to uh, make it, um, reduce it a bit. And now I think I'm going to go for a more yellowy colour. Um, hmm. Naples or Cadmium, I can't decide. I think, where's the Naples? I'm, hmm. I think the Cadmium yellow will be a little bit easier. Now it looks quite shiny at the moment, but I don't think we want to make it look shiny because although I said I wanted a sort of gold colour, I don't want it to look like it's made of gold because it isn't. So I'm going to take this right to the middle. 
I may not, um, I may have a, a final colour, which is why I'm going from each side and not making it really dark in the middle. I'd quite like a sort of nice bright yellow to finish it off. Um, what do we have? We have the lemon yellow, golden yellow. I'm going to try the golden yellow. I think it's a bit flat, you know. It's not, but I haven't got a really bright, nice yellow. Um, it's difficult. I think I'm very spoilt with my, um, oh, it's very wobbly lead, with my polychromos that the yellows are so, <laughs> oops, that the yellows are so bright and cheery and uh, intense, whereas with this set they're not. Try that again. I try not to press quite as hard because I, I know the colour's not very intense and I want to get lots out of the pencil. It's almost as illogical as when I'm um, colouring with pens and it's running out so I colour faster as if I can beat it. So it does look quite similar to that one but that one was done remember with oranges and this one's done with browns and yellows. I think it looks quite fun anyway. Now there's a very tiny line going around here and I've decided right from the start that I wanted that to be quite dark. I'm actually going to use the permanent brown though, not the Mars black. I don't want it really dark, but just dark. <laughs> I'm just filling it in. I'm not worrying about any light and shade on this one. There we go. Now underneath here I usually like this bit to be quite dark as well. I think I'm going to start with the sepia actually. It's quite reddish I know. And just put a layer in and just see how it looks because I don't I don't want it to look too similar to the bit above but on the other hand I do want it to look dark. So we'll see. Although some of some mushrooms this bit is quite light. It's sort of gills, isn't it? Just massaging that on. There we go. Now, I am thinking, because the stem I want to do grey, that maybe I should progress down into grey and put maybe a bit of grey into here. I'm going to grab that blue-grey that we've been using a lot because it's quite brownish. And uh, just blend it into this, really. I'm not going to worry about making some bits lighter and darker at the moment. I will in a bit, but this layer is just about getting the colour right, and I'm happy with that. It's quite brown, but that's okay. I'm just going to work it through. I'm thinking about getting back my fitness levels up in a bit rubbish. After walking the other day, um, I did five miles, which isn't long really um, for me. I used to be able to walk all day. Uh, five miles, it was just in the morning and it was fast because I was with my son, Mr. Longlegs. I'm going to use the Mars Black to put a bit of shadow in. I want it a bit darker at the base. Um, and my legs were really aching yesterday after doing that but I just went to the local shop it's oh, it's probably a mile there and back so it's not very far it's probably not even that 10 minutes and uh, I went I but I strolled so that I was just trying to warm up those muscles and it hurt quite a lot the whole way there and the whole way back I was like oh dear I thought this might have um sort of relax the muscles really. I quite like that little bit of definition under there and I think I'm going to just put a little line under this one and then make that do. I'm going to continue it here where there isn't a bit. Um, but today, which is the day after I am um, popped into town, which is a bit further than the local shop, and I felt absolutely fine. So that was great news. So I feel much happier that I'm maybe not as unfit as I thought. I'm going to use the graphite light for the skirty bit. As I have with the uh, one above, I like this to be a bit lighter. I might not do it quite as light as that one. But 
I'm still going to put down a light initial layer. And I think we're going to switch into our greys now. Because the other one above has got um, brown in the bottom piece. I think I'm going to keep this one grey and then it will just look a bit different. Now I want a slightly darker grey here. Um, um, which one is dark? Slightly darker. That's the cool grey deep. That's quite dark. But I think that's all I've got really. Oh no, the charcoal. The charcoal. Whoops, pencil's coming for me. It rolled across the desk. I don't know if you heard it. I used this one. This is the charcoal grey. Just give it a sharpen. And then show you. Oops, there we go. I haven't used it much. It's quite a long one. I'm going to put a fair bit under here. I feel there would be some shadow. That's quite a nice brownie tone as well. And then I'm thinking I'm going to put a bit along the edge. And then maybe take up here where we've got these um, lines. Maybe we can just take them up like that. Maybe I'll just add a bit of interest. Where there might be some shaping and shadow. A sort of pleated skirt. <laughs> Yeah. Now I'm going to use this one, again, remind you it's the charcoal grey, to do all of this. You can see how much darker it is. But we're going to bring in a, a darker grey to finish off, which will be fun. I'm just looking across at the planner page I've got to do. Um, it's probably... Um, miles after it um, plan a day but um, I uh, haven't done it yet I wanted to get this little series done first because I've been having so much fun with it now the cool grey deep is a bit darker so I'm going to use that to finish off this and put some shading in I may come back to that um, charcoal grey but we'll see how it looks so I'm going to put some shadow in under here well, this is quite a different shade of grey, isn't it? It's much bluer or blacker than the one underneath. But that's okay. And I'm going to go all the way along this edge, making it a bit darker, and then just go back and just bring that colour through. So I'm over colouring and then colouring less as I go towards the centre. And the same on this side. So all the way down with a line and then bring it in so that it blends it into the other grey like that and the bottom as well I think it should be a bit darker we can follow those lines that are drawn on there I think we need to take some notice of these markings as well I'm just looking in the camera to check what I've done and I think that needs to be a bit darker I think it all needs to be a little bit darker and then I think we'll be almost there yeah I'm happy with that she says fiddling a bit more <laughs> I'm gonna stop now so that is us done so thank you very much for watching please pop back tomorrow for the last one i haven't thought about how i'm going to color it but hopefully it'll we'll have some fun with it like we have with the rest well i have anyway and uh, and i hope you have too but yes thank you have a really lovely day and happy coloring <laughs>